Uh, this is, as far as I know, the first of its kind. They explain exactly what they're doing. This is there's no crowd involved. They're going to mic up the players, and there's a lot of betting going on, it sounds like. Yeah, there's a, uh, a $9 million winner, winner take all pot. Uh, there are a variety of side bets that are going to take place. There are online, real-time gambling odds that are being posted for those that can take advantage of them. Uh, it is essentially an experiment being developed by Warner Media, the new entity put together by AT&T, to, to develop an event and utilize it across all the various platforms that Warner Media is comprised of, uh, very much like Comcast utilizes symphony events across the full range of NBC and Universal platforms and properties. Yeah, and for, the, for those who haven't been on a golf course and actually done this before, it's pretty typical in my experience that for much, much smaller amounts of money, like a dollar, there's various bets you make throughout the 18 holes. And the genius of it is if somebody gets way ahead, you can still make it interesting because you can have a press bet on the back nine or a given three holes or a given shot. Yeah, nobody's, uh, nobody's ever out of contention in the sense that there's always something to be watching, there's always something to be playing for. So even if one is ahead of the other from a hole-by-hole -hole standpoint, there's always other bets and competitions that are taking place. The, the issue is this is not the back nine of Augusta on Sunday. They're not playing for the lead, so that inherent drama is not there. But the money is the drama, and the fact that they are head-to-head -head is the drama that they're creating here. Alex, it's interesting that a sport that has been in decline, golf has been losing viewership and loyalty, is trying to make itself more relevant to a younger generation. We've seen the same with another British sport, which is cricket, when they've tried to push to 2020. Is, it, is this going to work, from your opinion? I mean, it's certainly a good effort, it seems to me. Look, AT&T has not had a great year, and them then using this platform to try and attract more millennial viewership, frankly, it seems like it's an interesting move and a way of using a lot of the ass um, assets quite holistically to do so, as we say, with this, with the betting element, it is something which generates a little bit of excitement and, you know, brings it closer to the fan, it would seem to me. So, so Alex, as Lee points out, this is sort of a premiere for the new Warner Media, which is the combination of AT&T and Warner, Time Warner. Uh, what do they need to do in order to have it so-called work? What's the bar? I, I, I mean, I think that did you mean specifically to this event or for yes, the um, this event. asset yeah. as a whole? Yeah. Right, okay. I mean, well, it's going to be a question of can they get the viewership and can it, you know, will they be talking about it on their quarterly earnings and saying we saw a bump in the quarter because of this one event? And I think if that's something that is talked about, then we'll be able to see that it's something that will be repeated for, for similar, if not in golf, in other sports and, and therefore you know, making sense of this acquisition as a whole. Lee, it sort of is similar to what is done in boxing. How will social media play out in all of this? Because boxing almost clamps down to a certain extent in how much you can rev up anticipation and excitement via social media because they need to keep it very exclusive to those that have paid to watch. How will this event, do you think, play social media to its strength? Well, you know, they're utilizing Bleacher Report Live, their over-the-top platform for this. They've done a lot of uh, back-end marketing because, as you know, pay-per-view is an impulse buy. So the bulk of their marketing and social media activity has been within the last week. Uh, so they're trying to maintain exclusivity of the event itself on the pay-per-view to drive buys here. Uh, but they're trying to offer up a lot of uh, supplemental programming and content across social media, across HBO, Bleacher Report Live, across Turner, uh, to, to essentially, uh, using a Thanksgiving metaphor, utilizing every part of the turkey and slicing and dicing it in a way that uh, uh, allows them to uh, say that they're taking full advantage of the synergies of creating Warner Media going forward. Lee, gambling is coming up in the context of sports quite a bit. Adam Silver, the head of the NBA, says he thinks it should be permitted. We now have a permission, basically, for states to take gambling on sporting events. What effect, if any, will this event have on the larger trend toward wagering on sports in the United States? You know, in, in certain respects, this is the first major event that is truly incorporating in uh, real-time gambling and odds. Uh, there's no uh, allusions to it. It's out there straightforward and, and on screen during the event itself. 
and eventually over the course of the next several years as gambling sports gambling becomes legal in more and more states you will find more and more sports properties embracing it utilizing it as programming and content because ultimately it enhances the value of the programming itself there there there's always an interest in a game or an event if there's right. money riding on it and i think sports properties are realizing that right now and going to utilize it more and more in the future Alex, you're looking interested here. There is an element of how long will this reap rewards? Yeah, I mean, I think the thing that is really interesting is that the fee, that the pay-per-view fee is, I think, 15, oh, no, sorry, $19. And when you're looking at boxing, you know, it's $100. So there's a lot of capital intensity going towards the marketing for this thing. But out of the end of it, they're not getting a subscription. They're not getting returning revenue. And so that's, I think, is going to be a really interesting question I'd love to see answered coming out of this event, is does the intensity going into it reap the relevant or the sufficient rewards coming out of it in order for it to be repeated.